My name is Josephine Obit. I'm from Maine, Labrador. Uh, I've been living in St. John's now for 16 years. My sister is Sarah Obit, and she was murdered back in 2005 <laughs> by her estranged boyfriend. How was your experience with the police and with the systems that you encountered? Um, with me, um, uh, I thought her case was dropped. I thought her case was closed. And um, maybe about five years later, I found out that one of my friend's mom was um, being interviewed by the cops by the RCMP in Maine, because um, she had an, uh, a r relations with my sister's boyfriend, and she was getting interviewed by the cops. And she told me that her case was still open, so I called the Maine RCMP and asked them if her case was still open, and they said, her case was reopened a year ago, but they said I can get more information um, at the RCMP station here in St. John's. So I called them next day and they told me that her case was never closed. And um, I called them and I started asking them questions and they wanted me to go down to the cop station, or to the RCMP station, and get more information on her case, um, with her relationship with her boyfriend at the time. And um, in the end, uh, I met with an uh, investigating uh, cop, uh, uh, and his supervisor, and uh, I talked to them together in the room, and they told me that um, the crime scene was uh, contaminated and they couldn't do anything about um, the investigation anymore, except for him to try and confess uh, to murdering my sister. Did he ever confess? He denies it. He, he, he denies it. When was your sister murdered? August 2005. So what has it helped you get through? Like how do you get, how do you and your family get through this? For me, I got counseling. Counseling helped me a lot. Um, talk to friends and family. And now, just thinking of family members that may have just got such news, what would your message be to them? What advice do you have to a family that has just received the kind of news that you did? Don't bottle it up. Um, talk to somebody counseling you have to get it off your chest you have to talk about it you can't bottle it up it's gonna destroy you um, talk to family members and don't bottle it up talk to somebody <laughs>